In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we hang out during the Georgetown Exumas Regatta with the sailing piano in a couple of dinghy flotillas and the regatta after party. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. And the regatta is on. This is the big boat races, the cruisers race. Some of these boats have uh, kids from the local sailing club on it, which is really cool. Very cool sight to see all these people sailing through the harbor. Are you winning? Yeah. Hey. That's right. You're lapping them. I get it. Oh no. I'll race you on the next leg. Okay. I'm bringing this though. <laughs> we'll see you later at the party. After we were told that we were the too loud table and we should probably move closer to the bar down below, we discovered that the woman who approached us not only didn't actually work there, but she immediately left after talking to us. No problem. We moved to the inside bar where Dave, the sailing piano, was offered a seat at the piano and provided much of the entertainment for the evening. Uh, we had a technician and a navigator. We only had one lug on the boat. There's a lot of sausages playing down to now, but we still keep it fast. Because you're not a real man. Unless you try and try to rain. <laughs> Instagram this or tag or whatever the hell you yes, call it. Uh, like at the sailing piano. You yes, know that I. Uh, piano. Not these, like yeah. the sailing piano. Right? <laughs> tag the f out of that. Right? Uh, All right. Yeah. Tag away, hashtag, whatever, whatever, whatever it is. Yes, the sailing I piano. Know. Yeah. Ladies. Ladies, I have a large yacht, you know, it's white, it goes very well with your outfit. You notice that I'm wearing white pants. The, the helicopter is not working, so we don't have that. The drone is working. I do have a drone on my yacht. Alright, Michael. Michael, you're a rock star, buddy. You got great energy, my friend. We're 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 connected through the soul of music, you know. That. Okay, so what's your name? I'm Chris. Chris, where are you from, Chris? Oh right! You're a Dutch boy. What are the chances that I'm playing piano and there's a like hot babes dressed in white here tonight? Like, I just want to thank uh, Serendipity and uh, Yoss, Yoss is a 
Dutch Vinny, for this guy, on a boat in Turkey, didn't know how to sail. And, you know, and I don't know, the stupidity or bravery, there's a fine line. He sailed across the Atlantic, here, and he's here. So let's welcome you on stage. his first sailing race, so he's still looking for sailing lessons, if there's anybody out there. You can thank me later, Ross. As you know, like a lot of things, like Yoz fakes, like he knows how to sail, and I fake other things. It's, I fake the words, because I never know the words to his eyes. So, like the next one is going to be, as I call it, Molto Fakioso. Focus. Where it began. Okay, what do you want, the bottom or the top? <laughs> Where it began, I can't begin to know that. We were in Georgetown, just sailing. We're at the Peace and Plenty. I hope you get plenty of peace. All right, so we're getting ready for the for the floating piano here off Sand Dollar Beach near Georgetown. And the museum is freaking amazing here, and there's a ton of people. There's even other people from the Sioux here. So, well, let's see. Uh, we'll do. I don't know. Let's start with. Uh, that's why I talk a lot when I play, because really, in, behind the phrases, I'm, my brain is working on uh, repertoire. I've got the world on a string, sitting on a rainbow. That's called a near train wreck, you know, with the band. Uh, so the, I was just talking to Jim earlier today and, and uh, he, giving him some uh, coaching for the upcoming variety show. And I said, OK, no matter what happens, don't stop. Because, <laughs> you know, when you're in it, especially when you're in a band and somebody stops and says, well, let's go. No, you can't do that. You just, no matter if the truck is going off the highway, off the cliff, you go with it. <laughs> so that's the rule. But I do want to figure this out, though, now that you're yeah, here. I don't know. Piano Man. Okay, we'll save that for later. That That's a $1,000 song, by the way. Every other Billy Joel song is only 100 Uh We will play Piano Man because I do know that you'd like to sing that song. I'm, a, I'm the master of molto fecchioso, especially when it comes to lyrics. So if uh, you're one of those, uh, what do you call, detailed-oriented individuals, uh, we don't get along. And uh, I'm sorry if I, if I, how shall I say, improvise on lyrics, but, uh, you know, there you go. It's part of the creative process. Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from Apanema comes walking. She passes a smile that she doesn't see. When she comes, she's like a song. I, I really love the company and I love performing for you. So. Where did the wine come from? Oh, Bill! All right, Bill just set a precedent. Any lawyers in the house that understand the word precedent? <laughs> this is a precedent. <laughs> and a present. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Don't, if the, you know, the more of these I get, the, the better I play. And the more of these you drink, the better I sound. So it's a, serend it's a symbiotic relationship. <laughs> oh, I've got, we got a wet bar going on over here. I said, I like that. Yeah, yeah, what the hell? How are you doing? I didn't, I have not looked at stage right and suddenly, boom, there you are. Boom. Yeah. Yes, Sarah, stage right. With a 20-foot proximity, it's it's rum. <laughs> I'll I'll do uh, Benny and the Jets, 
but I'm, I'm not going to guarantee that the quality of the success of this. It's not one of my, it's all good. you know, my go-to pieces. But, you know, I'm floating on a boat with a guy on piano with people I might never see again. So, you know. <laughs> uh, then I'll play one of my originals. Let's see, artist Elton John. You, every, everybody, when I look at the words, I mean, they were definitely, you know. It's speech impediment rock. I, I, gotta, I gotta limit my, make it this PG. They're on experimental programs. Oh, there he is. Yeah, see, he's over there flying. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm using, I, okay, I use guitar tab because he's I can't remember the words, but the I can always Look remember the music, so sorry for the little delay there. But here we go. So if you, if you know the words, feel free to sing along. <clears throat> Especially everybody in the front seat. <laughs> no? Wow, that's impressive. Nice job, that Neil. That is impressive. Hey kids, shake and loose together the spotlights hitting something that's been known to change the weather. Look at look at behind us. Like I mean, look at how blessed we are. Oh like gosh, I mean, yes. wow. Woo! Okay. I was working at a, I told the story last week, as you get to know me you're going to hear all the stories over and over again, and I was playing at a, a restaurant called Le Maquette, a nice French restaurant at King and Church in Toronto. And it was really weird because the, the restaurant was upstairs but the piano was downstairs and nobody sat downstairs so but the bartender was downstairs, so. <laughs> and uh, so, and they put the piano in a, it was like a storefront window and it was almost embarrassing, you know, like people would be walking by and I was, I felt like I was on display, like a Where? mannequin playing piano, it was kind of weird. So, uh, so I just, you know, when I have gigs that are really boring, I practice and I just, you know, I get, I go into the music and I, that way the time pass. So there was a church, uh, everything, we were talking about this last night. I think I was talking about this with Jim too. So everything that uh, you can, we, I, you know, if you put several thousand people in a floating tin can, you're going to see and witness everything. Especially, I mean, not if you're the guest, more so if you're the crew. Uh, like below decks doesn't even come close to the shit that goes on. Uh, so I, I mean, I've seen murders, uh, body. Oh yeah, like everything. Like that. You don't know what's going on out there. I'm not kidding. So yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Especially back in the '80s when I when there was like no CCTV cameras and everything like the craziest shit. And also people like it was really interesting. You know, they come on the ship, and uh, it's uh, absolute. Uh, uh, they leave their morals on the dock and uh, think think that everything that happens on a ship is gonna stay on the ship. But we're watching all of it, so it's a hell of an education. Uh, so my my. Uh, uh, the funniest, there's this great psychology uh, um, education working on a ship. And also, uh, you get to meet all the countries, because all the third world countries, like a, a cruise ship is a profile, of, of an economic cross profile of the world we live in. So all the, sadly, all the, the third world countries, the, 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 yeah, the, the lower, the poorer the country, the farther below the, deck, the water line you are. And the, like, so they had the Bangladeshi and the, and the Thais and all those guys were, were like the ship painters and you know, they're small, so they could put a lot in a cabin. I mean, this actually still goes on. So, but I, there, I used to play, I used to write a lot of music and uh, I hung out a lot with these guys because if you're an entertainer and you're working on the ship, you get to eat in the dining room, you get the blandest food you've ever had. But the spicy stuff is with the Thai guys and the Southeast Asians. And so mm -hmm. they were shocked that I'd wanna, and I'd bring all the casino girls down with me. So they loved me. I said, you guys want real food? Come with me. And we did in the crew mess well below the waterline. And they were just shocked that we wanted to eat with them. And but then we got in on the inside. And so they were all secure, Filipino security. So I got away with, well, I didn't murder anybody, but I got away with the everything because they were all my buddies. And they were like, David, don't worry about it. We got it. The nice thing about being on the cruise ship is uh, I, it gave me a lot of time to write. And this is a song that I wrote. Uh, one of the ships I worked on, it was, they're now called, the company's called Celebrity, Chandra's Cruise Lines. And they, uh, it was one of the oldest ships operating at the time. It, it sunk the piano that I played that they were dragging the boat to be cut up in uh, Honduras so I, I wrote this song and it's now that piano is on the bottom of the Indian Ocean Ooh. so I, I think it's cool do we want to blow a conch before I start because the sun's down <laughs> yeah, but oh, she's... No. <laughs> oh, no pressure hey Rhonda we have a volunteer round of applause for Rhonda no 
pressure, no pressure. No pressure. He told me this doesn't work, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What note is that? That's a D, actually, I think. Yeah, it's a D. <laughs> now you're a YouTube star. So All hot. eight of our followers are going to see you. Oh, oh they, they think we're kidding. I like her. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I always wanted to try out a mantis. Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> is it overwhelming? I, I got like 10% left in this battery. Just a second. Ba baby shot. <laughs> baby shot. Are you going to put you season wire in that? Way. God. Does it really have a hole for season wire? Yeah. Well, Does it really? Yeah. It's a mantis. Only the best. Where's the swivel? You don't have a swivel? That's a swivel. <laughs> no chain, no swivel. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna hang right on. Follow. <laughs> I'll follow you. You follow me. It's nice to see you all back again. Thank you. I'd like to thank the uh, local tug service for uh, putting us back in the group. Yeah. Nice job, guys. So everybody good? We're good. Very nice to be here. I mean, sun's coming down. A little bit of live entertainment, getting to know each other a little better. Uh, I see I still have all those people off to my starboard side. How are you guys doing? Stay, starboard stage. Nice to see you. Feel as empty as a drum. We love the sailing piano on the count of three. You did you all hear that? Yeah. We love the sailing piano. Okay. Count of three. One, two, three. We, we love the sailing piano. And you can still see down um, into the water. What's that? You can still see All right, so uh, so this is uh, this is this is that song I was talking. I wrote on the cruise ship, and it's, I always think it's cool because the grand piano I wrote it on is at the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Here's that song. Yeah.